Well, I wanted to thank Scout Crafter for coming up with this great idea of making a Pinewood Derby car. I've been wanting to recreate this Jeep for a long time, and now that I'm an internationally known YouTube star, well, I thought it was time for me to take on this project. As all internationally known YouTube woodworkers know, every project starts with milling up some lumber. The next step, ascribed to internationally famous YouTube woodworkers, is to true up some timber using a hand plane. In this case, I'm using a Bailey Stanley number no. five, type 17. This allows me to create some wispy shape. Another practice that I must follow as a world-renowned YouTube woodworker is to make all my markings with a marking knife. No more pencils for me, fellas. Another codicil in the handbook for the internationally famous YouTube woodworker is that whenever possible, you show that you still own a bandsaw. This is just one of the many times when I am required by Rule 7 of the internationally famous YouTube Woodworker Guild to let you know that I don't like sanding. It's now time to glue up two pieces of finely milled timber and then turn them into what our friends from England would call the bonnet. The seat construction in the original was just one of a few number of design flaws that I felt. I did like that they tilted the seats to five degrees. This allowed for someone sitting in the seat to be very comfortable. Also, as part of Rule 9 in the internationally famous YouTube Woodworker Guild. I am required to show you some hand chiseling. Please enjoy. Having acquired all the parts necessary to create this Jeep, I sent the interior off to have the upholstery applied. More rule seven, don't like sanding.
in order to achieve top performance, it is crucial that the axles be perpendicular. It's here where I make my first true modification to the design of this classic Jeep. I felt that glue was not enough to hold these beautiful seats in. And so I reinforced them with some mighty strong dowels designed to go right through to the back of the seat. A steering wheel was constructed from an old knob. I struggled long and hard how to create this fanciful grill. I finally decided that I could just drill it out if I pressed another piece of wood next to it I would get half a circle with the full mock-up now done it was time to send it off to paint and now everyone's favorite part here's what it looked like before and here is our Jeep now And I'd like to thank Scout Crafter. Without even looking at it, he knew because I was an internationally famous YouTube woodworker. I would win first place in the Scout Crafter Pinewood Derby. This beautiful trophy was presented to me. It's a great honor, one of the greatest of my careers. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed watching.